Yeah, it's it's like one of my top five, you know, in my twenty year career of, of net balls. Whoa! Like say after twenty one years, the first time that the kids walked out with twelve pounds of. Meth yeah. in a baggie and handed it to us. If that is meth, and yeah, that's that's quite a bit oh, of meth. Damn. It's not just you know recreational. Look at us. You can't see steel. Use. That's that's like enough for you know a couple hundred people to party on a weekend. Over. Yeah. I was down on my. Looking to hit me a lick, ready to get into some th Since I was a G, I had big dreams of getting rich Now we leveling up in this bitch, take a look at my kicks You know we stepping on the toughest The first one to get hit, don't make me send a blitz My head is itching for it, hollow to spit like a list But wait, whoa Oh, now what's the mud from the Kaden deal? Welcome back to Sheldon's Bullet Gas Studio Where you come to kick it, vibe out And shoot this shit with Sheldon I appreciate each and every last one of y'all for pulling up Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel Let's go and get up into this video of today Hey y'all, this right here is crazy. Just reading the title alone, man. Nine-year-old boy hands police a bag of drugs that he say he found under his mother's nightstand. Boy, <laughs> you yeah, you don't belong to me no more. Your ass going to a goddamn home after this. Yup, you you you're done. You're done. <laughs> Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's let's get up into this shit, man. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. A child hands a police officer a bag of drugs. Well, thank you. So we were called to come check on your son. A second police officer tries to comfort him. What's up, little man? What's what's going Nine? on here, I'm Officer Hanson? What's you scared? What's going on, man? What's going on? Do you want to take a do you want to take a seat on the bench? He's got me phone in the bathroom for like an hour. This is the boy's mother, Kendra Long. I have, I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. <clears throat> well, you just hand. Mama, like you got them. Uh, chesties. No idea. I have no idea what that is. <clears throat> well, you just handed it to me. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. So this uh, is your child? That's his shit. Get him out of here. Send his ass to jail, police. Fuck him. Fuck him. Shit, we don't do drugs in this, this house. This is my baby. Yes, he's in the bathroom for an hour. Okay. Literally an hour. The child had FaceTimed his father while locked in the bathroom. The parents are divorced. The dad called police. He was Whoa. showing Tony this stuff that he found in the house. Say what? I don't even know what that is. Well, I don't either. The other officer then talks to the nine-year-old boy who's in tears. And what did what did you find inside the house that, that, that made you scared? Okay. That boy said the drugs. Do you know what drugs look like? The daddy coerced they ass. You can't tell me I'm wrong. Now, I ain't gonna say that they were not locked up in that bit, but that was the daddy's way of using that shit, which is a good thing, because if mama locking they ass up and doing drugs and shit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But the daddy know he coerced they ass to say, hey, go get the, find the drugs. I know your mom's using. Go find them. Hold them. When you get them, let me know. I'm going to call the police. Make sure your mama don't see you with them. Call me and daddy gonna handle this shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Let's take some two deep breaths. He says he found the drugs under his mother's nightstand. I just saw a couple bodies. I was curious. Now, what if they tried to try some of it? Why the daddy coercing their ass? I don't know if the daddy did this shit or not. I'm just saying. I'm just allegedly. But, yeah, yeah. What if the, what if the kids wanted to try it? After the daddy told him that shit. Pull it out and then I told him I knew what it was. Yeah, then like TV and stuff. What? Like you thought like you looked it up. Drugs from like yeah. TV and stuff. Yeah. Officers examined the drugs. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of meth. Yes, it's not just like a little. She the plug. You know. Yeah, it's it's like one of my top five. You know, in my 20 year career of, of meth balls. Whoa! I was say, after 21 she years, this is the first time that the kids walked out with 12 pounds of meth yeah. in a baggie and handed it to us. If that is meth, and yeah, that's that's quite a bit oh, of meth. Damn. It's not just, you know, recreational. Look at her, she can't see steel. Use. That's, that's like enough for, you know, a couple hundred people to party on a weekend. Yeah. Over. yeah. Turns <laughs> out this was more than 100 grams of meth. According to police, you do have the right to remain silent. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going um, to jail. Turn you around. You got that right. You can say it. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. Um, it's in your house. Um, this is your house. It's, this is not my... I don't even know this was here. I don't even... I can't even understand her problem, the fact that this is drugs in my house. Well, yeah, she don't look like she do drugs. So, unless she just now starting... But she look like she may be the queen pin around this motherfucker in the case. Long Please. is arrested for drug trafficking and child abuse. Does Cus feel okay? This was in July of 2022. Long oh, posted a twenty-five thousand dollar bond. Oh, she doing them unless they makeup and I, I. I don't know. You know that makeup fuck your ass up. Look at look at her. It's not done either. Yo, ooh yo. Ladies lay off the makeup, babies. And that same day violated a family court order and broke numerous other rules court records show still she received no hard prison time and was given probation which prosecutors say she she must have had a male judge that wanted to give her that wanted to hit her with that uh what the gavel he wanted to hit her with that gavel god damn it violated she was also sent to an inpatient drug treatment program in her criminal case, prosecutors pointed to these text messages showing she clearly was dealing drugs. You want a hundred dollar bag or half? The deal taking place with her son. Hey. So it appears this was all it. an act. I mean, to me, it looks probably like methamphetamine, you know. That's fucked up. We were getting our paper on too. Feeding these ungrateful ass kids, putting them in time out of shit because they don't want they they don't want to listen when I tell them no to their iPad. You want to call your daddy? Well, t- I tell you what, I bet you, I bet you, you guys come back when I send you over there. You gonna b- want to come right back over here. So take your ass over there. We live in the high life over here, baby. You understand me? <laughs> um, you know what meth is. Like- you know what meth is. I mean, I mean come on. What Everybody knows what meth is. You watch Breaking Bad. That boy said, said, since I don't know, I don't even know what it is, sir. So that means I can't be charged for you charging the wrong motherfucker in it, big. You need to be charging his little bad ass. He the one had that shit. I mean, Jesus. I have never seen Breaking Bad. Well, you should. While police say his mother is lying, shit. the child is recognized for his honesty. Good job, buddy. Oh, yeah. snitch. The right thing. Vanessa <laughs> Murphy, 8 News Now. The 8 News Now investigators reached out to Long's lawyer to try to get her side of the story. During a phone call, instead of providing a statement, he hung up. The attorney did what you may be wondering what happened with the child, her son. His dad picked him up that night, and he is currently living with his father. And he don't like it either. <laughs> nah, he probably do mama ass living that high life. She ain't she uh, she wasn't very nurturing. I'm just talking. Anyway, let me know how you feel in the comment section below. If you vibed all the way out to the end, I really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm Sheldon Vibes. I'ma need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes like you suppose. Oh yeah, no. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh god.